hands and I've put my, my gloves on and we're going to do a half leg wax. I had a consultation with my client, so I know my client's treatment expectations and I've checked medical history to make sure that there's not any contraindications for the treatment. I've also had a look over the client's legs to make sure that there's not any contraindications in the treatment area. We have a contraindication here, so I'll um, put some petroleum jelly over that. And then I'm just going to check my client's sensitivity. So I ask the client to look away. And I just, if you can tell me if that feels soft or sharp. Soft. Soft. Sharp. 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 Okay. And then I'm going to check um, with test tubes. You can tell me if it was cold or warm. Hot. Area. So what I'm doing is I'm removing any body lotion, any natural perspiration from the skin. And then I'm going to take a cotton bud and some petroleum jelly and I'm just going to cover over that area just to make sure that there's not any accidental touching in that area. So I'm going to text the wax on myself. So I'm going to check on the inside of my arm, just a sample of the wax, just to make sure that it's um, not too hot or too pre placed on the client's skin. goes in the bin because it's been on my skin. So I'm going to have two spatulas. One is for collecting the wax and one is for putting the wax onto the spatula. And just let it run onto the spatula. Protect underneath with a a muslin strip and I'm just going to test on your ankle area so I'm just going to do a wee bit here and you tell me if that's okay for you. Does that feel? Yeah. Okay. So that was a test um, for the client to make sure the wax was of okay temperature It also lets the client feel what the treatment is going to um, be like. So I check the client's hair growth and check the direction of the hair growth because that's exactly the same way that I'm going to apply my wax. So hold your spatula at a 45 degree and you would sweep all the way down. You would apply your wax strip, working from the bottom up, making sure that you have a fold that's for you to be able to pull the strip off. And the wax is applied with the hair growth and the strip is removed against the hair growth. In slow motion, your strip will be back on itself, okay? So always keep the strip low. We never take the strip up into the air because that can break the hair or distort the follicle and um, cause an ingrown hair for your client. So it was that. So I'm going to support the client's um, skin and I'm just going to sweep in the direction of the hair. I'm going to apply the strip and sweep the strip and pull and pull. And the hand over helps to um, soothe the area for the client.